This is the hardest build to pull off, a, pot, a uh, dragon build, but I'm going to play it because Ysera is there. Dragons are still the strongest build you want, but like I don't get the best shit, which is this card, uh, to buff the rest of my shit until we get to, to tier 6. So you kind of have to manage how you do it. This particular hero's power is that every time the tavern opens up, it adds an extra dragon to the tier. So I'm not going to have to worry about finding dragons. Frozen there and level like normal uh, and get my dragons along. What I can do is buy and sell the pieces and then once the, 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 the fighting starts, which is this part, the pieces take over and they attack from left to right. So you can position them in a certain order and you can buy and you can sell. That's it. Everything else the game does for you. So like now I have two of these dragons. This player isn't here. Somebody just quit. So now I'm leveling, and now all the level 2 and level 1 cards are available to me. And I'm just going to keep freezing one of the dragons and just buff it right away. You'll get the hang of it. You'll kind of, you kind of figure it out as you go. You know what I'm saying? And granted, I had a lot of Hearthstone knowledge before this. Like, I spent the better part, and it's, it's, one, of, it's one of my old uh, YouTube videos that I might repost because I'm actually just still so proud of it. That's the card. Attack will double. So I'm buffing him now with those. So now he has three attack, five health. When I when I upgrade the tavern, that although I'd say if I had to guess if this player knows what they're doing, it's gonna come down to me and him. Exponential growth. Exactly. So like I'm gonna lose this round, but it's not gonna fucking matter. Because we're all just, we're just trying to last the longest and kill everybody else. So when I lose this, oh no, I'm going to win this one. Look at that. Uh, I was 80% to win. Nice. So then we get points for the tavern tier and the cards that are left, and we did three damage to that hero. So now I can just buy two straight, and that's the perfect card. Because when I'll buy these two, and play, so we're playing with one less player. Now normally, if all the players are in the game, there's a damage cap meaning you can only take 15 damage at a time uh, until somebody's eliminated. Now, because that player forfeited, you can do 30 damage to somebody on the second turn if, you, if it's possible. And you can see, like, this one I'm 100% to win, and it shows the average damage. Like, that's, that's my little HUD overlay. Okay, we're only getting imps, which is kind of crazy because usually you don't get that many. So I'm going to level. This, this card's going to buff. And now I'm going to buy this. These are going to combine in a triple. And when I play it, I'll get one of these. Discover a tavern card of the, a tavern tier higher. So I'm on three. I'm going to discover a four. And that's a good card. It's another dragon. And at the start of combat, it's going to buff. It's going to get kind of risky, but I'm trying to get there as quickly as possible so I can get this card where every time I play battle cry cards, it buffs all the minions. And this card is what wins me the game, Caligos. So it's a risky build, but when this build works out well, uh, you win more on average uh, than everybody else. So, I mean, and there's a lot of guys, like if you come in in the top four, you increase your score, which is known as MMR. Uh, I keep mine right around six, 7,000. Although I find it's been getting higher and higher lately because you actually are able to play the game. I was going to level much much faster, but I think I'm going to hold off. So I'm going to do this. And I'm not going to waste those gold. It costs you a gold to roll. So I'm going to roll, try to get another dragon on the board. You're always going to get one because when you roll, this character adds one to it. I'm going to try to get two on board. That's a really good one, though. But that's what we want, too. Okay, that's perfect. So I should have this one one, yeah, 93% of the time. So he's got the same effect, but my, my board is just stronger. Plus I eliminate two of his cards usually right off the bat. This one's attack goes up every time he attacks, it doubles. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. 
player. Okay, we're going to go ahead and level. And we're going to take this and we're going to put it here. And we really want this one. I probably should have bought that first. Well, it's a it's a really strong uh, layout that's going. Ah, I could level and take this card. Although, do I need to? No, I want to take this one. Give up this one. I think I just level. Yeah, I think I just level. And then do that. Now these suckers are getting buffed to the moon, but I do have it kind of down. Oh, this is screwed. There's no way you win, right? Yeah, 99.5% 90, of the time I'm going to beat them. Like this, this build, the frog build, it's no more. Last week, this was the strongest card. They nerfed it. it used to give two two in the death rattle. It gives one one now. This is practically useless. But last week it was pretty fucking awesome. I ran frog builds so many times. I just way too strong, sir. Oh, are you dead? No, you're not dead. That one got killed, so you're alright. It's a pretty big hit, though. Boom. Alright, this guy hasn't lost one either yet. Ah, uh, I think I gamble here. Yeah, I'm gonna gamble. I'm just gonna go ahead and level and try to roll my way into some really great cards. This one's probably gonna be like 50-50. Oh, no, I got him. Oh, 43. Huh. I'm favored to win, but we tie an awful lot. Hit this one. Yeah. That's all right. That's bad. That's good. That's good. Yeah. That's bad. I think we tie at worst. Nope, we win. Got lucky on the end. Undefeated. That's all game. Because it's an achievement. Give me the Caligos. Yeah. All right. Now it's getting crazy. So now all battle cries bulk us up. So we're going to get rid of this. We're going to play the Caligos. I'm going to keep that. I guess we get rid of this one. Now we get rid of the imp. I'm gonna play smart. I'm gonna get rid of the imp. And now watch. Every time I play a, a battle cry card, a card that has an effect, it's gonna buff every single one of these. Oh, that's perfect. So we buff again. And eh, we could play it. I kind of want to have more, but I'm gonna play the amalgadon. We want this to get poisonous. It didn't get poisonous. So, at least start buffing. But these things are getting buffed like mad. If we can taunt some shit, we'll have this game locked up. 13%, wow. This guy really built his, uh, his game up well. Alright. Hit this one. All right. We're going to lose, but we're not going to take too much damage. All right. Ah, that needed to die right away. We're going to lose, but just barely. <laughs> we take six damage after ten turns. Eight wins in a row and two ties. We take six damage. All right, give me the Caligos. Yes! Oh, it's so beautiful. 
I mean, I guess we have to give up. Well, we give up that now. So we got to play the other Caligos. I want to keep buffing these. I guess we get rid of this. Yeah. All right. Watch this. Double buffs on everything. Now they're all getting 2-2 every time I play a Battle Cry card. It doesn't even matter what the fucking card is. It's so insane. Haunt some shit. Oh, hell yeah. Freeze. God damn. That's huge. I'm about to pull off my favorite build. Do I got you? That's eh, close. Oh, bad hit. All right. That's the problem, is that little fucker making everything poisonous. Hit this one. Ah. Hit this one. We win. Yeah, I don't think these odds are right. It's the, the tracker doesn't have it right because there's new cards in there. I think I was a bigger favorite than that. We take this. Give me another Caligos when I triple. Come on. Caligos. Okay, no Caligos, but that's pretty good. So this is awesome. We can double buff. Because we get to buff off that. Buff off this. Alright, that's not bad. Ah. We'll play that right away. There's no fucking battle cries. That sucks. Alright. Uh, come on, play. I'm just going to take the stats. <laughs> yeah, now it's fucking inf first. And without that in the game, we're kind of screwed. All right, we're going to win here 98.8% of the time. Oh, perfect hit. Nice. You don't have enough stats. I got lucky there. Oh, I got lucky there. Later, brah. I don't think stats are going to help me. We're going to need a ghoul and an Adina. Come on, ghoul. Fuck. Well, there's my Argus. So I guess we give that up. And we... Do this. And I guess I have to take this. It's just so good. Plus, it creates cards. So that's a win for. No, I need the ghoul. No fucking ghoul. But there's another Caligos. Oh, that's so sick. Well. I'm going for broke, so I'm going to take the Caligos, and I'm going to freeze for that one, but I really need the ghoul. Yeah, that's cool. He's going to have poison on a lot of them, and that's going to screw me. Like, it's hard it's hard to take first when George is in the game and so are Murlocs, but if I can, if I can kill him, I can, I can kill him here quite a bit. 100% uh, loss. Yeah, because every time I kill shit, he makes more shit poisonous. 
because of this fucking card. That's why I need the ghoul. I need to pop all the bubbles right away. But I don't think there's going to be enough time. Don't poison that. Oh, you fuck. Yeah, this might be impossible to win. I mean, I would need a super scam build. Well, I'm going to take this because it's a shot at Nadina. It's a crazy, insane, big statted card. There's my Nadina. All right. Now I need the ghoul. This is a good, this is gambly, but it's good. We make that gold. We do this. We get multiple evolutions on that. Get poison. Get divine shield. Oh, got fucking neither of them. Well, we have a poison. Um... I guess we give up this one, play that, roll, where's the fucking ghoul, god damn it, I'm probably dead, this is just too hard to beat, I mean it's just no way to beat it really. Without the ghoul to pop all these bubbles, there's nothing I can do. I mean, we're going to get bubbled up, but we got a 2% chance of winning. But he's, he's getting first hits. I mean, at least we're through his fucking taunt now. That sucks. Don't poison anything. God damn it. Are we dead? I think I'm dead. Nope, 14. I got one more chance. Alright, I gotta find the fucking ghoul. I mean, if I don't find the fucking ghoul, I might as well forfeit. There it is. Nice. Alright, what am I giving up? This one already has Divine Shield because it keeps it. Okay, so we give up this. There's nothing to stat with. Guess we take this and we try to stat up. I mean, I don't think I'm going for the poison. No, I can't. I can go second with the poison. No, I can't. I gotta eat the ghoul. Fuck. Alright, so we do this and then this. I guess that's it. We either well, I get that's the best I got. Last last time I had two t two tenths of a chance of winning. What do I got now? Eighty seven percent. Yes. We found the ghoul. Two tenths of a percent to win. To 87%. We tie, but he's screwed. There's just no way to improve this. Unless I find another Nadina and I can stat switch. Yeah, that's really the only way to improve it. Find another Nadina. There's only three of them in the game, though. Come on. Come on. Nope. It's not going to happen. Alright, well, we're playing the same thing we did last round. I guess we can move that. That makes it a little bit better. 
to 46. Well, he fucking figured out how to make that better. Because he gets one back when we pop the balloons. Alright. So now we get all our shields back. I think we're still good. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Pop the balloon. Hit him. Hit him. There we go. Yeah, that's game. Oh my god, he's still alive. What the fuck? He's still alive. This is unbelievable. I can't believe we're going 16 rounds. Nadina. If I thought it was going to last this long, I would have taken one of these fuckers in the previous round. There's the Nadina. Okay. Now i got to figure this out. So this will pop. That will go off. So what do I throw away? I guess we throw away the Caligos. And we stat. And we can stat one more time. I could have tripled, but it's kind of pointless. Alright, so that'll hit, that'll hit, that'll hit. So I guess we just do this. Right? It's close. Yeah, he's still... I didn't have enough left to kill him. My, my least value minion got it, because you only get the value of your minion, so this is a level 6. I got the level 1. Like, this is pretty crazy. 25% because he got stronger. That's good. That's perfect. Now, Medina. I got him. No, we tie. Son of a bitch. Is this I don't know how this I don't know how this is still going. Well, there's another ghoul, so I can try to stack. All right, what was he playing? He had all that, so we pop those, and then he gets that. He's got the fucking zap. That's what we need. We need a zap. Where's the fucking zap? Come on. We need a fucking zap anywhere. All right, this is a gamble, but I got to take it. Didn't get it. Yeah, the only thing that would win it for me is the zap. I think we're just going to be stuck in a tie. Gambly. There's the zap. That's the card I need right there. So if we tie again, I can win. But it's close. Like, 25%. Did he give up? 37%. I think he did give up. Perfect. Pop them all. He taunted the wrong one. Or he, he got the bubble on the wrong one. But of course I hit the wrong one. Oh, this is a shit show. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> Turn 18. <laughs> Turn 18. It's so hard to beat George. Because uh, he gives the things Divine Shield. With, with Murlocs in there, it's so hard to beat George. Oh my god. What he needed to do, there were beasts in the game. What he needed to do was get an Amalgadon, which is everything. Get it poisonous. Give it reborn. So that when something else dies, it gets poisonous when it gets reborn. Then he could have beat me because he would have had eight units coming out that all had poisonous. But he don't know that move. <laughs> That's pretty awesome, though. I'm pretty proud of that game. I might actually post that.